29, take 1, sound 28. Let's just start back for a minute where we were before. And let's talk about the kind of family the Truman family was. You give me a sign when I'm supposed to talk. Like right this second, whenever you're ready. Right now? Yes, ma'am. Mort, you know, uh, uh, Mort Jr. was a special FBI agent in Washington in the first year that Truman was president. And you remember, I visited him there six weeks. I knew months ahead I was going to be in Washington, so I had a date at the White House. It happened to be the very day that uh, Mr. Truman was going to United Nations uh, meeting. And I, I visited Mrs. Truman, but I didn't visit uh, Mr. Truman, and the White House was pretty well torn up. I saw it in a good deal of disarray when it was there. I remember another incident. I was at a banquet of the National League of American Penwomen, and they were discussing Mr. Truman and his attitude. And uh, I took it as long as I could. And I just got up and I said, now I don't know anything about the issues, but I know Harry Truman is honest and whatever he said will stand the test of time. And sat down, they didn't discuss him anymore. You were there about the time that I was there when they were overhauling the White House. Yeah, everything got a nice was torn visit up. with the president, and my grandson got to put his feet on his desk. He's only six <laughs> years old, and I ain't let him do it. <laughs> Very good. Thirty, take one, sound twenty-nine. Okay, ma'am. Mr. Charles, I don't want you to talk to me, I want you to talk to Miss Susan. And I want you to say something again that she said before, which had to do with Harry Truman and cussing. The uh, American press seems to have tagged Harry Truman as a profane man. And he is not, because I've known him all his life. And he's a very religious man, and has a deep faith. And I think it's going to take a little correction, or should, the press should, because he is not a profane man. Do you think history takes care of these things? I do, and I think uh, Truman will be written up in history 50 years from now, or 100, whenever history is made, is one of our greatest presidents. Do you think, now sometimes it seems to me that after things happen to a man, people who knew him in his early days go back and find qualities that they didn't find in the first place. Go back to that cussing for a minute. Uh, maybe we'd have to define cussing. Uh, because he does say a few words uh, well, that people find, you know... Probably well, I should correct that and say profane language. Any man will cuss when he gets mad. <laughs> if he doesn't, he's a saint. And that's what Harry does. I, I have made a bad choice in words. Do you think, Mr. Charles, that that's kind of the language of the Middle West? Very definitely. It's uh, Harry is a typical Midwesterner. And he stayed that way all the time he's president, and still is. You think of independence as Middle West rather than Southern, you know, there are certain... It's a mixture. <laughs> the Middle West was uh, settled by Southerners nearly, well, I'll say this particular area here was at least three-quarters of Southern people that either came from Kentucky or Virginia. Okay, let's cut. That's fine. <clears throat> now let's hold...